it actually it's actually we're storing the data differently than XMLs now, right? Yeah. So on the very first phase, everything gets stored out as just XMLs. That's just the save information. Mm -hmm. um, this is only on the designer. Hi. As a software developer myself, I just wanted to offer some commentary on this little discussion here regarding changing over from XML to another data format, the whole binary blob thing. And by the way, yes, blob is a term of art. Instead, we have that information somewhere else. I'd like to start by saying that I completely agree with moving things to binary blobs. It makes sense. They'll be able to distribute the information easily and conveniently. Hundreds of thousands of people playing a game, whatnot. Well, Milliseconds matter. It, oh, they matter <laughs> tremendously. I mean, when we have, you know, dozens of people, dozens, good word, I could use that now, right? Dozens? Dozens. Yeah, dozens. <laughs> uh, yes, if all things go right. If all things go right? Well, yeah, if you have dozens of people and they have a Gatling gun that shoots like 900 rounds a minute, uh, you know, you're going to be parsing a bunch of XMLs, which... Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. You cache data. You store it in memory after you read it once, and you only change it in memory if that data has changed or aged out of the system and potentially changed. That's just basic data processing we don't want. Well, if we have the binary blob, all those projectiles go to that one source of information, pull it, and then they're good to go. And that's why you basically build your own binary blob when you read the XML. You read it, you create a, a data structure in memory, and you reference it after that whenever you need it, very fast. Gotcha. And so we store those blobs up on a server. Uh, right now, they're all stored on our dedicated servers, mm -hmm. but you know, sometime in the future, we'll keep, have a centralized server where all the other servers could pull that information. And with DataForge, we actually have the ability to hot load. So we could change our binary blob to some other binary blob, and it would reflect all the changes. You won't get an argument from me about that. Good idea. I guess what I'm really hoping is that this is a simplified discussion intended for a wider audience, and that I'm worrying about nothing. See you in the verse. You know, balance things on the fly.